Welcome back to STG TV, everybody. It's your boy Salute to General Ray. Check out Cobra Kai Season 1, Episode 6. Let's get it. It's a little different now. I stand for it's like extra gym class for no reason. Let's just give it a chance. You saw the fight, Miguel kicked ass. There you go, Miguel. All right. Nice shirt. Thanks. I'm joking, it sucks. <laughs> house what about you oh i already know all your tricks huh and let's try to remember what happened 10 years ago when you and i hit the mat for a little karate <laughs> <laughs> man grab your purse let's go i have work well like a job oh shit look at your pants <laughs> <laughs> what are those <laughs> it's just temporary why should I be scared of him? Because he's got a snake on his wall? It's not like he's a teacher who can give us a bad grade. We're paying him. He works for us. It's not like he can actually hurt us. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got yelled at, got my ass kicked, and then gave him my money. You know who lives like that? <laughs> Besides, I don't need to learn karate when I have you. See, no one's gonna mess with you. Hey, walk the other way, bitch. Miguel run the school now. Hey, look like you got some decent work ethic, at least. Oh, great. We had a bunch of pain in the ass stuff piled up for weeks. Inventory, sticker swaps. Kid knocked most of it out before lunch. So you're saying I should fire you and give him your job? Oh, that new kid. No, he's terrible. Very <laughs> unmotivated. You gotta keep explaining stuff to him. I'm pretty sure he's got a head injury. Man, this South Asian dating app is destroying my weeknights. I feel like the hottest Kashmiri pepper in the pork vindaloo. It, it, that joke kills on the app. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you just said either. Fresh. Hey, see that Porsche 911 over there? It's a butte, right? Well, the boss has been wanting to move it up front by the windows. You think he can handle that? For sure. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Can he even drive? Thank you. I'm gonna go grab a chair. Yeah. No problem. Yo, my man's a creep. Whoa! What, what, what the hell is the matter with you? Starting a car in a, in a crowded showroom? What, what are you, out of your mind? What were you thinking? Listen, I'm sorry for calling you out inside, all right? That's on me. I should have heard your side of it. You're not the only one with a temper around here. Ugh. Thanks for um, helping me out, by the way. Oh, yeah, I need to show you what I found another group. I went with the fight. Oh, yeah, someone had to take care of those assholes. But nobody else did. Oh. Do you guys want a banana? People keep sneaking them in my bag. It's because of that stupid rumor that I'm sure you guys have heard about me. Oh, yes. no. <laughs> I bet she offered them bananas. Daniel likes to get a hard copy of the sales report delivered to his house every night. He's old school like that, you know? Amanda asked me to do it, but I'm pretty sure she just likes the fact that it's 20 minutes out of my way. Are you messing with me again? He just set his ass up again. Stevia. Not while I'm here. Yeah, you 
You got to stop drinking, Johnny. Fuck, the kid's a social reject. He doesn't have a single friend. Well, maybe this is how he can make some friends. Make some friends. So, you want to be the next Bruce Lee, huh? <laughs> so he does have an idea how it is to be them, huh? Hurt people hurt people. Point is, I wasn't always the badass sensei I am today. Just like a cobra, I had to shed my loser skin to find my true power. And you guys will too. <laughs> I'm flipping the script. Wait, are you the kid with the lip? You see that? Doesn't matter if you're a loser or a nerd or a freak. Hawk. Fall in. Like, I fuck with some of the shit he's teaching him, but some of the shit is just so fucked up. Class, are you ready to learn the way of the fist? Yes, sensei! <laughs> uh, that was episode six, another good episode. All these shits are pretty entertaining, for real. Uh, it's like his, like, the shit he's trying to teach is, like, kind of... Kind of got some of the old school shit that he was taught. The bad shit that he should be trying to filter out. But he's not. And. But I'm assuming that's all going to clear itself up. And now Daniel got his son and his little dojo going in. This shit's going to be crazy when it all comes together. I can tell you that much. And shout out to my man Lip. He said, fuck that, man. I'm about to flip the script out here, man. Turned himself into a straight punk rock dude. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but... Takes the damn attention away from his lip, I'll tell you that much. If that was what his goal was, he definitely accomplished it. And Miguel and Sam are starting to get kind of close. That's what's up. And it's fucked up, man. Kyler is a fucking... Bitch, man, I can't stand that motherfucker. Got the whole school thing and she was out here giving head and shit and she ain't do none of that. They throwing fucking hot dogs at her and <laughs> putting bananas in her book bag and blow pops on her shoulder, man. Your kids is fucking cruel as shit, man. That ain't none of that shit true, man. At least Miguel can see through it, though, man. He got him a good one, man, if they ever link up, which I'm pretty sure they will. But, uh, yeah. Overall, like I said, another solid episode. I'm going to check on out if you enjoyed it. Bam, hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure to share and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you thought. We'll catch y'all later. Salute the general. We gone. Well, I'm gone. It's just me, goddammit.